Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I didn't even finish it. I was just violently attacked by what looks like an eyelash, but anyway. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Joanne here, looking all pretty. <laughs> I feel so excited because guys when I say I've been going through stressful times school is literally driving me insane but no not but as yet and I haven't really I have had content ideas I just I don't think I've had the time or the energy to go forth and form them so this morning I was like I'm literally about to go write a test but I was literally like I have some time before I need to leave for school so let me just film this skincare routine I have nothing to film this since I think like late Feb March no March actually from like around March and it's not that like I have clear skin or anything as you can see real skin or whatever I do have like a few breakouts or some redness, I don't know what to call it, but that's how my skin looks. But if there's anything that's important to me is it's having healthy skin. Healthy skin can still have breakouts, but it's clean, it's supple, you know. So when I touch my skin, I want it to bounce back, you know, like, okay, it's not bouncing back, but like, it's healthy, it's soft, it's it looks nourished it doesn't look dry you know certain things we can't control for example like you know the the acne situation or pimples or breakouts or whatever but we can't control whether our skin is dry or it's oily or it's mad or you know all those type of things so this is how i've been controlling my skin for like the past year i think uh there are some things that are new in my routine but some things are still same old same old like uh the skincare routine that I have up on my channel because I already have one if you have been on the channel long enough well since back in the times back in the times when I started my channel I did make a skincare routine video but yeah there's some things that I changed this is very realistic to be quite honest it's not that one you know when you're doing self-care and you do everything it's not that type of one um I do like shave my face which I've been wanting to for a minute now but yeah I'm gonna also voice it over since I was in the bathroom, there should be an echo. But yeah, it's pretty simple. Just the shaving and then it's washing, exfoliating. You know, and I also wash my lashes, but I don't show that. But yeah, um, it's 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 quite cute. I feel cute. Uh, I don't say, but I put lip therapy on my lips. And I'm actually going to spray my face one last time with the Switch Beauty Spray because I didn't spray it after. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm so excited to have a video coming out. Um, also, be subscribed. Be subscribed. This little channel is growing. Thank you for all the new subscriptions. I hope you like it here. Yeah, and definitely the next video is going to be a beauty one, but I will film a vlog. I've been telling myself that I cannot have the audacity to vlog before filming Excuse me, any beauty related video because I am mainly a beauty creator, but... You know it's whatever you know we like things that's true and sometimes vlogging be easier than actually sitting down and setting up camera and you know everything sometimes just easy to put out the tripod and you know but yeah um hope you like this video don't forget to subscribe and yeah tell me what you're using in your skincare and stuff and yeah, I think this is also very winter focused, you know, because it's quite the same all year round. I mean, if I feel like I need a thick cream, then I just use like my moisturizer because my moisturizer is epi zone, so I just add that on top if I feel like I really need moisture. But the way things are set up, it's really consistent. The only thing that I usually take in and out is the oil, but other than that, it's pretty consistent. And yeah, that's the skin. I'm so excited. Anyway, bye guys.
Hi guys, um, so I'm starting with the voiceover. Please excuse my voice as I am currently sick, but life must go on. So here I'm using the Essence oil, face oil, just to uh, cover my face before I start shaving. So I usually do it like whatever I feel like in the moment, like whether it is on dry skin or... Uh, oiled up skin but oiled up skin is a bit better so anyway this razor that I'm using I got from Discam and I prefer this bigger one for shaving my face they're called eyebrow razors and I think they sell for like 39 rand or something yeah uh, also do this at your own risk I am not advising you at all to like shave your face this is just what I do and I don't do this very often but yeah um, what I do when I shave though is like I pull my face and I shave uh, in the direction of hair growth, you know. And as you can see, there's a lot of hair and dead skins coming out. And I try to avoid where my skin is inflamed or I have breakouts. Simply because it'll just hurt if I shave over that part. And also, I don't want to upset it even more. As you can see there around the cheek area, like I have like some bumps and stuff. So I avoid that area. I also avoid the tip of my nose. And around my mouth, I just like will shave on top of my mouth. And yeah, also with the forehead, I actually hurt myself kinda when I did through this. I don't know whether I was too harsh or I didn't like pull properly, but it is like an awkward place to shave. Um, but yeah, I kind of do have scarring there now. It's not bad, but it's definitely there. So, ah, guys, the things we be doing. But yeah, this makes for exfoliating and just helps with having like smooth application when it comes to your makeup so whether you get this done professionally or do it yourself at home if done properly it can definitely have good um results for your for your for your skin yeah good effects whatever the english says yeah okay so now uh i am preparing to wash my face and i'm just using my cellar water just to break all that oil down and also remove any hair that I might have missed. Like you may see by my eyebrows. I didn't want to wipe with the tissue. Uh, so I just used the micellar water to get rid of all that extra oil and hair that was left over on my face. Yeah. Now I'm going in with the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Facial Cleanser. I have been using this for years now and I'm still very happy with it. So I'm just going in and I'm washing my face and I try massages, massage it slash, you know, to scrub off any dirt that I can. And I try to do this for at least a minute. I just, you know, massage and scrub and all, all over my face until I feel like I've been doing this for a while. I don't really have any way to measure that it's been a minute in the shower. So... Yeah, then I rinse my face off and I tap off or wipe off the excess soap because I can't rinse my face with water because of the lashes. And at this point, I still wanted to be able to see. So, yeah. And just also another FYI, when I do or use my cleanser, I first run it under some water and I rub it with my hands just to activate it and put it on my face once it's activated. Now for exfoliating also using Neutrogena and yeah this is just a scrub very soft on the skin and it does its job and yeah like I said activated with water this is for all my skincare products except the ones that are actually like for moisture so the cleansing aspects or cleansing products rather who chow English yeah anyway and I scrub and I scrub and I do the most of um the the product on my face and then i will also rinse it off and excuse me more i'll rinse it off and dry it off with my towel and then at this point i also got to washing my lashes so i'm just drying them off with my fan and my face cloth as you can see 
yeah so i am done i would use a mask if i wanted to but i honestly forgot on this day and i said that it's very realistic half the time i do not have time to exfoliate and mask you know it's only when i remember or when i feel like my skin needs the extra love but yeah so now i'm using my cellar water to cleanse simply because toner not cleanse wow goodness <laughs> this voice over thing is so hard guys i'm using my cellar water to tone simply because i just feel like it makes sure my skin is extra clean and it's hydrating plus i'm saving money without having to buy a toner now I'm using the Essence Hydrating and Plumping uh, Primer Serum. It is a primer, but I use it uh, before I go in with my moisturizer simply because it's so good on the skin. Uh, I really love this product. I've gone through so many bottles uh, like over the, the past few months ever since I've started using it and it just makes my skin feel good and look good. Yeah, so applying that all over, avoiding my eyelashes and making sure that I really get it underneath my eye. I don't use an eye cream, so all of my hydrating serums, moisturizers, I make sure I get them under my eye, around my eye, just so that my eye is hydrated. So here I was laughing at myself because I was I realized that none of the product is showing because that's how little I have left. But these are the Switch Beauty um, superhero sprays, and I love them in between my skincare routine for hydration and or whatever um, skin benefits they have they are just nice I love a mist in between for my skincare routine it just it makes it feel all that better and it's good for your skin so yeah here I'm using my water gel moisturizer from Neutrogena I've also been using this for years I'm still very happy with it and yeah I just massage that all over my face and the skin is starting to look really good and don't forget to take your skincare products into your neck just because you do not want to look 25 in the face but 50 in the neck so at this point the skin care routine is almost done adding another layer of face mist with just a different spray and now I put on the sunscreen so guys I'm gonna be very real I do not use as much sunscreen as people say that you should use because first of all I mean now this thing burns my eyes if it comes into contact with my eyes so I just try not to put that much to avoid it getting in my eye secondly I don't have the time to be blending this product out like it is too much it is too much so I literally just go in with the line that runs across my palm, the palm of my hand. And I moisturize this all over my face, my neck, and my ears. And I just cover the top of my eyelids and just avoid the area that is very close to my eye, like my eyelashes and my bottom lashes. So that if anything does come, like my eyes become teary, or there's wind or whatever, and yeah, my eyes become teary, then and I wipe, then the product doesn't come into my eyes. So I avoid really my under eye area as far as I can. And yeah, um, I just blend that all out. You know, and that is my skincare routine, guys. I'm going to dry it off with the fan any second now. But yeah, um, I really hope you enjoyed this video and that you will find something useful for you. If you wanted to know what my skincare routine looks like, pretty simple not too many products and yeah um it's it's pretty simple i think that's the point like you don't need to be using 50 million things to have good skin you know and my skin is not perfect i mean it, it does have better days but this is what keeps my skin maintained and looking healthy like i said earlier on that what's very important to me is having healthy skin despite whether it has acne or eczema or whatever the case is and I'm just going in with this face oil for the last time and just like two three drops because I don't want that much during the day and I add it all over my face after the sunscreen has dried yeah just for that extra glow and looking fresh and cute and then for my lips I love lip gloss so whether it's the skin lip therapy gloss 
or essence glosses i just love a lip gloss as you saw in the beginning of the video thank you